Weather Authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Hey everybody, look at these high temperatures today. I mean, Terre Haute topped out at 95 degrees, 91 in Paris, so the heat is back and the humidity levels are up, indicating more moisture in the air and more cloud cover, and at least a few showers have started to pop up on the radar, and we'll show you that coming up here in just a little bit. Actually, it should be 93 for the daytime high here at the station. We hit 93 for the high. 73 was our low early this morning. No rain here. Some of you seen a little bit of rain. It's been very, very spotty. I'll show you what it looks like on radar here coming up in just a little bit. Here's what we've got with the Wabash River. It's at 4.8, pretty much steady right now, not really moving up or down, just kind of stationary out there. Here's what we're tracking then. We've got the heat is back, obviously. It's becoming more humid. There are some rain chances, and it could get kind of active as we get into next week, setting the stage for more needed rainfall possibly in this area. So right now in Terre Haute, it's hot, 94 degrees. It feels like 96, so the heat index is not a major factor, but you noticed it was a bit more humid today. Again, these are current temperatures. Pretty much lower to middle 90s out there. As we look at the heat tracker tomorrow, remember the heat index now is in the upper 90s. Look at this tomorrow. Upper 80s. There's a front coming through, kicking off a few showers and storms, and it's going to knock the temperature down a little and the heat index down a, <laughs> a little bit tomorrow. So really not bad as we start the holiday weekend. For a change, we actually have a little bit of moisture in the area today. A front dropping in from the north that's sparking a few of these scattered showers and storms. Nothing widespread, but we'll take what we can get at this point. We need rain pretty bad. Here's what it looks like a little closer to home. We've seen more rain to the north. We've seen a few scattered showers and storms developing in our southern counties. So on the north side automotive Doppler radar, there's not a ton. There's one little cell down here, eh, not too far from Sullivan. We had another one that came through over here around Washington. You can see a second one has developed there, second one down here south of Bedford. A little bit up by Champagne, so they're very, very scattered, but at least there are a few scattered in the area. Any of those will be tonight. They will end by tomorrow morning. The front will push south of the area. Now, here's the good and bad news. The good news, we get some dry weather for part of the weekend. The bad news, we need the rain. The front stays pretty much to the south as we head through Saturday. See the clock up here? We don't really show any rain. As we get into Sunday, the front kind of hugs our southern counties. So right now we're thinking a lot of Sunday, maybe rain-free. The front will come back north as we head for Monday and Tuesday. There is what we call a marginal risk, maybe of an isolated stronger storm here yet this evening. The chances of that are fairly slim that we'll see much out of that. The front will lift back north. As it does so, the rain chances increase, but it looks like now the best chances will come after the holiday as we get into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And some of these storms next week may pack a little punch with some heavier rainfall. Watch the temperatures. You'll see the heat will build in the plains and it just comes right up over this area. So it's going to get hot. It's going to get humid as we head into next week. So get ready for some more heat and humidity. Forecast looks like this for tonight. There'll be a few storms for a while early tonight. We'll drop to 68 tomorrow. I think we're pretty much rain free tomorrow. Not quite as hot, not quite as humid as the front drops south of the area. Daytime high tomorrow approaching 90. And then after that, again, maybe just a few scattered storms on Sunday, and we are up to 91. Right now, a few storms scattered, very scattered on Monday at 94. And look at that. Daily chances of rain and pretty hot. We're up to 97 by Tuesday every day next week. Highs in the 90s, Omar. Looks like July, Jesse. Thank you. Meantime.